My name is Ben Walker and I'm a consultant with Management Incorporated. And in 1993 we decided to develop a curriculum uh, for professional cleaning in, and the cleaning industry. We wanted to make sure that we had a good educational foundation and philosophy to begin executive level training. So we came up uh, with uh, seven points that we thought were the best philosophical applications for uh, developing an, an executive level education. The first philosophy in the philosophy of cleaning is to clean for health first, then appearance. We strongly believe that there's a real need in the cleaning industry to have an emphasis more on cleaning for health and that appearance will follow. Cleaning for health is not just uh, cleaning for health of the occupants, but also for the health of the worker that, is, that are doing the cleaning. The second philosophy is to treat cleaning workers as first-class citizens. The profession of cleaning is really one of the only uh, professions where it is still somewhat sociologically uh, uh, acceptable, and I say that lightly, to to kind of ignore and, and, and mistreat. It's really easy in pop culture to, to see allusions to the dumb janitor, um, and we believe that uh, it's time for that to change. Uh, the most important uh, road to fixing that is to make sure that, uh, number one, you have a training program uh, that, that makes sure that the cleaning workers are, are, are professional in their, in their job duties and in their, uh, and in their application of their day-to-day -day, uh, cleaning of the building. Number two is to make sure that, that we are providing our executives with enough education to educate uh, the rest of the world on the importance of cleaning. The third philosophy is simplify, simplify. Um, it's very easy to uh, make something complicated, but it's, but it's very complicated to make something simple. The way cleaning organizations are managed in this day and age, uh, it is a real important thing that we all start to focus on simplifying the way we manage logistics, simplifying the way we purchase tools, and simplify the way we train our workers on how to use them. We need to simplify the way we use uh, chemicals, and we need to simplify the way we're training people on the safety issues of those chemicals. The fourth philosophy is utilize the clean syndrome. The clean syndrome is a psychological effect uh, that was actually uh, sort of accidentally discovered by Walt Disney, uh, where something that is clean tends to stay clean, and something that is dirty tends to get dirtier and dirtier over time. Uh, if we have something that's clean, and keep it clean, it'll stay clean. And so we believe strongly in utilizing the clean syndrome. The fifth philosophy is to go beyond compliance with safety regulations. This is one of the most important things in managing a cleaning operation. Number one, it's important to have an accurate written program uh, that is up to date and is audited annually. Number two, it's important to make sure there's an accurate inventory of all the chemicals that the cleaning workers are going to come in contact with. Number three is it's very important to make sure the MSD sheets that the workers have access to are up to date and, and current. And the fourth thing is to make sure that we're allowing cleaning workers time on the job to familiarize themselves with the MSD sheets uh, for the chemicals that they'll be using. And it's in an area where, they, where they're aware of and have access to throughout the shift, no matter what. The sixth philosophy is minimize environmental harm. We think this is a more powerful statement than going green or, or uh, utilizing green cleaning because we believe the cleaning operation uh, needs to do everything it can to minimize its, the environmental harm both indoors and outdoors. The indoor environment is a place where humans spend 90% of their time and it's very important that we're not only minimizing the environmental harm to the indoors but to make sure that uh, the things that we're doing with our cleaning operation aren't going outside of the building and filling up landfills and causing more pollution outside. And the seventh and final philosophy of the philosophy of cleaning is, is exceed expectations. Currently, I think it's safe to say that there is no expectation in, in, for cleaning in most major facilities, or it's, a, or it's an, an expectation that's, that's been based off of a game of cops and robbers between management and the cleaning department. So the best way to exceed expectations is to have an, a mutually agreed upon expectation so folks know how to manage to that level and how to exceed it. These seven philosophies are important to creating the foundation for professional cleaning industry. 
We've been teaching them at Janitor University since 1993, and we're going to continue to do so and improve them as time goes on. If you want quick clips, visit issa.com.